Poles, are they? Here we are with, uh, with uh, Officer Dave Wolfgang and a project sponsored by Montgomery yeah. County. This project is uh, going off, uh, starting off today and will probably run for about a month. Uh, also with us is uh, Charlie <laughs> Hall from uh, Lenai Electric Corporation, the, the contractor for the project. Dave, you've been working on this intersection for uh, your whole career here at Upper Dublin. Where were the, inter where were the accidents uh, prior to this job? Primarily right here at the intersection of Jacobtown Road and Limecombe Pike. Uh, failure to yield from the stop sign. You see that truck going by there right now. He can't see up the road for opposing traffic coming down Jacobtown Road. So briefly, uh, what your understanding is, is when this project is completed, the traffic will only be able to go turn right here and head south on 152, that's Limecombe Pike, towards Abington Township. That's the only way to go. The two-way traffic will be eliminated from this leg. Close Correct. To the it'll have to go down and make a left-hand turn at a left-hand turn arrow, and it'll eliminate that crash. Oh, 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 totally. Yep, so we're going to hopefully eliminate some one of our high uh, accident areas. Uh, that movement you just saw with that small car will not be able to go. All traffic will be going southbound. The, the uh, northbound traffic will have to use the signal in the future. Thanks. So again, we're looking uh, southbound on Route 152 Lime Kiln Pike. This intersection that we're coming up to will be a yield and it's one-way traffic. So the center yellow line will be eliminated on this leg. You'll see that the workers have now installed at the intersection all brand new signposts, brand new street light, and they'll be cutting over the brand new signal heads. One of the things to point out to you on these um, signals are the cameras up there. Just for your information, these cameras do not send a video signal to anybody. They're really just there to monitor the traffic so that they can actuate the signal. So instead of using wire loops in the roadways, which were a reoccurring maintenance problem, these cameras sense the cars in the various lanes and to let the traffic signal do its work. Here we are standing at the other corner. Lincoln Pike to the left and Jenkintown Road to the right. Looking down this direction, you'll see the line crews are putting in the lines on Fitzwatertown Road. One of the concerns is that you're going to see a do not, no turn on red at this uh, intersection. Currently traffic, or correction, that traffic could have been turning on red. Uh, that's going to be a new sign, no turn on red. There's also a brand new sign here, no turn on red. The reason that one went up was because as they changed the configuration of these lanes to allow more traffic to come through this way in a left turn lane, the line of sight was not good enough to allow because of all the bushes on the uh, edge of the road there. So this is your stimulus money at work. We should see this improvement wrapped up in the next uh, week or two because it doesn't involve a lot of time uh, for this contractor. But we'll see a major improvement, we hope, and a reduction in the number of accidents, as well as uh, new traffic patterns that should really help people get through this intersection, particularly at rush hours. So the thermoplastic heats down, makes for a real long-lasting line. Yeah. And he's putting glass beads on it, or it'll do that later? This does it. And the machine adds glass beads automatically? Yeah. Very good. This stuff should last a few years. Close to, yeah. With us now is Jerry Smith, the Public Works uh, Administrator for Upper Dublin Township. Jerry's been working on this project for a while. Jerry, you want to tell us a little bit about how things are going out here today? Uh, Penai Electric is the contractor, which you probably already know. Uh, project's been uh, underway now for about, uh, I, I guess, a good 35 days. They've made a lot of progress at this intersection here and the one just down the street at uh, North Hills and uh, Jenkintown. Uh, they're doing both of them together. See, we're getting all new traffic signals, uh, specialized cameras uh, that can de detect traffic. And uh, North Hills and Jenkintown intersections pretty much going to stay the same. This one has probably been explained. Uh, we are making a significant change as far as this, with this white truck that's coming here now. That's going to be a one-way only uh, road. Southbound. So southbound will continue the way it is. There will no longer be northbound traffic coming down this way. They'll have to go through this signalized intersection to make a left turn. Correct. And all traffic will have to make this right-hand turn. If they come up to the traffic signal like this uh, beige car here, they will not be able to make a right-hand turn to proceed up um, Fifth Border Town Road. So if traffic does not come along here in front of us, uh, they're going to have to go straight. Very good. Thanks, Jerry.
Hello, this is Paul Leonard again. We're back on Fitzwater Town Road at Limecomb Pike, and it's Monday, June 7. Things are going pretty well here. They're putting some more paint out, and you can see that uh, they've already got the uh, yield sign up straight ahead of me. That yield sign will be new, and then traffic will be coming down the hill, meaning down Limecomb Pike. And anybody who wants to continue north on Limecomb will come down and make a new left turn at this dedicated left turn lane, such as this little white van's doing here making that left turn and to continue on northbound on 152. Again, the purpose of this was to eliminate the accidents at the intersection directly ahead of me. Coming into view here is Dan Spleet, a public works director. He's on Nextel, talking to somebody else on another project. And you can see the trucks from Guidemark. A significant amount of this work was paint, although there was new hardware and new controllers, as well as video detection installed. So we're starting to see the motion uh, come into place. They should have this finished up for the most part today. The right turn motion, you just saw that car make, will not be allowed at the end of this. All the cars will have to go up line, on line film, stay on this way, proceed up along the edge of Lulu Country Club, up to the new intersection here, and yield, and head on up to continue south on line kiln or 152. Good progress on a beautiful day. Thank you. So how's things going out here on a beautiful uh, Monday morning, fellas? Well, going just swell, sir. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> With this is uh, Ed Geisler, who's the highway superintendent, acting highway superintendent, Dan Supley. Guys, uh, you expect this project to finish up today? Uh, we expect this to be open and ready to roll today. Very okay. good. And PennDOT's been good to us on this one? PennDOT's doing a great job. And here. the county's been paying. This is your stimulus money at work. Now, do you want your federal taxes going to these types of improvements? Absolutely. Yes. Positively. Bring it home. All right, guys. Thanks.